Here's a fun method of using a texturing tool for bread use. What I did was I used a bread dough, a dough machine, set it on the dough setting, fired up some dough, sliced it into chunks that are appropriate for a dinner roll type size. I took one and I deliberately squashed it out, stretch it out, make it into a flat piece or whatever. You take the tool, it's called the Steve tool, it's a texture tool for texturing anything that's, that's soft material. It comes with five different discs that look like gears and five different discs that look like spokes. You rack them up on a, on a rod, you tighten them up, you set them any which way you want, whether they're straight or tweaked on a, on a design, and have fun with it. So what I do is I took the bread dough, squash it out, run it back and forth with a texture tool, and you get a design. If you stretch it out some more, you get some holes in it which are appropriate for pastry or just fun looking bread. Let's nail that a couple more times for fun. Then you take it upside down and you roll it into a glorified croissant. You have a croissant. Then you take something like butter or oil anything down that line that is good for bread and paint it on top. You put it on your put it on your bread pan and what I tend to do is I'll sprinkle something on there just as an excuse for color, for glaze. Give it some look. Here's another version where I took the same idea take a square of dough stretch it out and then use the uh, the guy that looks like a bunch of spokes and go back and forth and what you're really doing is you're perforating the dough you can squash it all the way through you can leave it alone it just makes holes in the dough concept still applies you texture it you stretch it you turn it upside down you roll it up like a croissant do the same thing. Put some butter on top, put some oil on top, sprinkle something on top. Put it on the bed the bread pan. Here's another version, the same thing. Take a chunk of bread, texture it back and forth with the tool. Stretch it out as much as you want. Let the holes happen. That just lets things ooze through. Turn it over. This one for fun. We'll throw a piece of apple in there. Turn the guy upside down. Let the apple poke through. Same deal. Paint some butter on top. Sprinkle something on top, give it some color, help the, uh, help the texture come through in contrast. Here's a slightly bigger piece. Maybe it shows up more on the film, maybe not. You can see how the perforations really work on dough. Let those holes poke through, stretch out the dough a bit, go back and forth whichever which way you want. This time, I'll throw a little butter on the inside, throw some spicing on the inside, fold it over, perforate something else on the outside, that just pokes all the stuff into the dough. Here's the other guy. some spice on top for color. Put it on the pan. The tool has the capability of being 
twist it one way or the other depending on how you like it. Align all these gears straight up. Align all the spokes into like a helical pattern or align them straight up if you wanted to. All well, depends on what your mood is. Run back and forth. This gives the spices a nice place to stick. Also gives you a chance to tear open the bread. Do some more on the other side for fun. Roll it up like a croissant. Get an interesting pattern out of that. The butter is just an excuse to let the spices stick. And the spices are just an excuse to let the color come through. Put that on the pan. Here's the bread we just made, 35 minutes later, all cooked up. We can see how the spices are adding some contrast to the texture and makes nice dinner rolls. Here's a zoom in on everybody, a little bit more visibility as to what happened, what's the result. Have fun with bread. Bye.